Is it recording? Am I a camera? You're just gonna shuffle past? Have you turned it on yet? Yes, it's on. Is it on? Uh-huh. All right, fam, welcome back to my channel. We're happy houring at home. Well, actually, that's not even true. We just went and happy houred out. It's Wednesday, and I don't want the party to stop. Now we're happy houring at home. You tell him. Tell I can't. I can't. You can't. Tell him. No, it's not. It's not my job. Here, you stand behind me and say it, and I'll move my mouth. Hey guys, it's me, Kyra Button. I just wanted you to know that you're supposed to go down, hit the like button, and smash the subscribe button. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram as well, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Mwah. We're not ending the video, we just started. Oh. All right, so tonight's video is actually in collaboration with HelloFresh. I've used HelloFresh for a really long time. If you go back and look at my really, really old videos from living in Phoenix, like I used to get my HelloFresh boxes back then. So when they reached out to me and asked me to partner with them on this video, I was super excited because I do really love them. Truthfully, every opinion is my own and I love their food, I love their recipes, and it's super fun to be able to try out new stuff. Can I say something? Yeah. I also like HelloFresh. Why? It tastes good. It does taste good. Tonight I am making chicken sausage and spinach ricotta raviolis. You love raviolis. And I'm excited because the total cook time is 15 minutes, which is great when you're happy houring at home. So to make this recipe tonight, I have here sweet Italian chicken sausage, the spinach and ricotta raviolis, one puppy dog, Italian seasoning, green onions, a Roma tomato, a lemon, chicken broth concentrate, and two things of sour cream. All right, let's start cooking. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad to features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They wanna be her And all the dudes are trying to score Like it's fever She lives a double life Puts on a show What's under this subtle smile We'll never know <gasps> Oh my god I can't believe that didn't get on my camera. I just squirted sour cream everywhere. All right, we will deal with that in a moment. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about the features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. All right, that was stupid easy. Mine doesn't look as pretty as the plate does, but holy cow, does it smell freaking delicious. That honestly saved me so much time. It was so quick and easy to make this meal. And I love it because they send you all of the ingredients in these little bags. So I just leave them in my fridge and I can use them whenever. And then I know I have all of the ingredients I need for dinner. So it's super convenient. I don't have to run out to the store to grab anything at the last minute. And seriously, I'm not even kidding. These taste so good. If you guys haven't tried HelloFresh before, I highly, highly recommend it. I promise you the meals are delicious. Alex loves them. I love them. They're easy. If you do want to give it a try, go ahead and use my code, which is KyraButton80. And you'll get $80 off including free shipping on your first box so really it's like a win-win you can't go wrong with it if you haven't tried it I recommend like seriously just giving it a try I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna eat my ravioli and continue drinking my cocktail oh yeah it's good come try it mm. oh, well. <laughs> I give it the seal of approval Today is a very exciting day for me. All right, quick little disclaimer here. Everyone's got their own insecurities. You're not allowed to judge somebody else for their insecurities. They're insecure about it and that's all that matters. I'm very insecure about my eyebrows. <laughs> this eyebrow, she's a nice lady. I like her, we can get along, she brushes up well. This one has a cowlick and honestly, it doesn't even look like as bad as it normally can, but it like goes down here, shoots straight up there. Alex likes to call it my angry eyebrow because if you only look at the side of my head, I just look really mad. 
I heard about brow lamination, which is essentially like you're perming your eyebrows to be able to shoot in the directions you want them to go, not this direction. Today, I am gonna go get my eyebrows laminated and I'm so stinking excited. I'm going to Glam Rum, which if you're in Chicago, it's up in Lincoln Park. I'm gonna go see my girl Yashira. She's gonna fix my eyebrows. I'm so excited. I thought I'd take you through this process because I've never gotten it done before and I'm really excited. So I don't even want them to be twins. I will be happy with sisters, but right now we've got like a third cousin, like three times removed over on this side. So if they come out looking any more similar than they do right now, I'm honestly just gonna be pumped. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper. My eyebrows are perming. They look very bold right now, but my eyebrows are tinting. This is Yashira. Hi, this is, everyone. This is her beautiful studio. She's gonna make these bad boys look nice and more even. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to me. Oh my gosh, you guys. My eyebrows have never looked this good in my whole life. This is my crazy eyebrow. They're just supposed to stay this way. I don't need to wear makeup with them or anything. Yashira was literally amazing and took so much time like taking care of this crazy brow because it's literally a nightmare. I could not be more impressed. So we permed them. She put like a Botox treatment on them that's supposed to make them look thicker and like be thicker and healthier and then tinted them and shaped them. I love this so much. I am so impressed. If you guys are in Chicago and you have tricky crazy eyebrows like I do and you need somebody to actually take the time and patience to make them look beautiful I highly highly recommend going to Yashira her company's called Glam Rum I'm gonna put all of her information up here so that way you can go see her yourself definitely tell her I sent you but she was amazing I'm gonna go now because people keep freaking staring at me we are going on an adventure which really just means that we're leaving the apartment <laughs> We have a ton of our plants that need new pots. We are going to go to TJ Maxx or Ross. I don't even know where we go. Marshalls, we go to Marshalls. We need some pots and I think I also wanna get a throw pillow for the couch because I stole one of the throw pillows from the couch and I've been using it on the bed just since I do sit on the bed so much and work from there. So I think I want another one. I have to drop this package in the mail because this is from my most recent giveaway. So if you don't follow me over on Instagram, you need to follow me because I do giveaways of really fun stuff and then you can be entered to win a package from me. Oh, hello furry boys. Which one's more hairy? I'm really not sure. One of those hairy guys gets groomed this week and it is not my boyfriend. All right guys, ponytail or no ponytail? Leave it in the comments below. Do we like the half pony? I really like Jesus. Why don't you put it in a bun? Is that not a bun? No, it's a ponytail. What's the difference? A bun looks like this. This doesn't look like that? No, that's a ponytail. Can I go full bun? Yeah. It kind of hurts. I know, you have very sensitive scalp because you've never had a mother to do this to you. I have a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little tiny mouth. Oh! Come here, I can open this window. Come on, quick. Come on, Alex. Oh, I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll zoom in on it, but down there, they just got into a car crash and the car is like smoking. We were about to leave the house anyways, but now we're especially leaving the house to go investigate. Ooh. I kind of like the man bun. Yes, that is a man bun. It is different than a ponytail. Like a hit and run that's out that guy said. Oh wow, like everyone's standing around. This does not look good. I know, it was scary. We stopped like mid-conversation inside. Porsche over there. There's lots of cop cars. Is the Porsche coming over there? Yeah, it's on it's on the curb like around there. You hear that? What? They said there was four kids in the Porsche and they took off running. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Why is he running with a gun out? That's not typical for a car crash, huh? It's not on the South Street. They were wow. chasing him and he was avoiding them and then he was just going all over. Oh, so the, that, the, he was already running from the police when yeah, they the crashed? Yeah, the was running away from the police when they crashed. Wow. And the four guys out of the Porsche got out and ran. Oh, man. And they ran over this way. So that's where they're headed now. That's where they're headed. Lily wants to try to go catch him. Ah, Lulu. Stop. He Stop. senses the unrest. Oh, he wants to play with that dog? Stop. Louis, she's out of your league. Any comments? That's crazy. 
basically all we know is I guess there was like four kids driving, I don't know what kids means also, but they were driving this Porsche and trying to get away from the cops. And so they were already being followed by the cops and the lady said they were like weaving all over and then they got into that intersection and did like a huge crash. And so they crashed into the other car. I don't know where that guy is. I hope that they're okay. But the four kids all got out and ran, which is why there's like the cops swarming around now and that one cop was on foot with the gun. Did you see him running? That was crazy. Anything else you wanna say? I hope everybody's okay. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. All right, slightly anticlimactic considering all of the events we just saw on the street, but there were like no. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm, I'm just the background. There was like no pots available at Marshall's. There was literally two, so we bought them both. So we got this one, which is similar to ones we had before, and I like the legs on it. So we'll put one of our bigger plants in there. Probably this one, which he's awkwardly holding behind me. I'm not awkward. We got this one, which we haven't planted it in yet. It's still in its pot, but, but I like this one a lot. I think it's really pretty. So that's it. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I'm gonna make dinner, and we're gonna put these plants in new pots. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, definitely click the big red subscribe button down below. I post two videos a week all about small space living, organization, Trader Joe's, all that fun stuff. If you haven't already, go over to my Instagram. I post tons of content over there and I love talking to you guys and keeping up with you over there as well. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.